Today I'm going to show you a simple but super effective way to create this effect in After Effects. Plus a few cool tricks you can instantly use in your own projects. But before we start, quick update. I finally launched a Power Plugin, my own plugin with 350 plus fully customizable transitions for After Effects. This pack will help you take your editing workflow to a whole new level. You will find the link to the free demo and full version in the description. Now let's go. To make this effect look clean and not break the frame, we need a static shot. Ideally, the background should be solid colored and there should be no objects cut off by the edges. Because we are going to mirror the image later and any cut edges will be super unsusceptible. You can create this effect in two different ways, using motion tile effect or CC repeat tile effect. I'll show you both and explain the differences. If you're working with Full HD footage, it's best to create a 4K composition. I have Full HD footage, so I'm just going to scale it up 2x. Now let's add a motion tile effect on your footage. Set output width and output height to around 900 and enable mirror edges. Then just animate the scale to zoom out. Set your keyframes and scale it down to the footage. You can tweak output values a bit uh, depending on your case, but uh, be careful at highest values you might see some artifacts. Next let's add movement using the fast parameter. Hold Alt, click the watch and type this expression. If you want horizontal movement just click this button. Now let's try the second method using CC repeat tile effect. Do the same steps, create a 4K composition, scale up your footage and add CC repeat tile effect. The big advantage of this effect is what it has built-in position resets. You can easily select horizontal, vertical corners and so on. There is also a blind borders option that you helps smooth out harsh edges. But there is one downside. You can't animate movement with it. So this method works better if you need a static mirrored background without motion. Personally, I prefer a motion tile effect, so let's move on to the stylization. Let's add a fisheye effect. Create an adjustment layer and apply the bulge effect. Increase the radius until it covers the whole comp. Then animate the bulge high. Something around uh, 0 to 1 works well. Next, create a black solid, select the ellipse tool and draw a circle mask. To draw a perfect circle, place your cursor in the center of composition, hold Ctrl Alt and drag the mask, roughly this size. Now in the mask settings switch to subtract, set father to around 10, and animate the scale of this solid layer to make it appear from the center. Already looking very clean, but let's boost it further by adding a light shake effect. Apply the transform effect to the main footage, then add two slider controls, one for frequency and one for amplitude. Next hold Alt and click on the position watch and type this wiggle expression. Then connect the first one to the frequency slider and the second one to the amplitude slider. Next set frequency to 1 and animate amplitude from 0 to 100. With the shake the whole looks becomes much more dynamic. And for the final step select your keyframes, press F9 to ease ease and adjust the graph to something like this. Then copy the case to the end Right click, keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframe. Turn on the blur for this layer, and that's it. That's the effect we got. It's simple, but there's something stylish about it. Thanks for watching, and remember, don't stay still.